there has been a drastic evolution in the virtual world, with high FPS game making its way to the mobile devices. For the people who know us, they know that the droid is love pixels. So today we decided to give you our top choices of the 5 high graphics Android games. So with no further delay, let's get started. Coming out at number 5, we have a game developed by Madfinger, The Unkilled. Yes, I can't compromise on the fact that this is not a zombie killing game. But who doesn't love a first person shooter? It's developed on Unity 5 engine, which results in some luscious graphics and intense action. The storyline revolves around New York City, which had recently faced a breakthrough of zombies. The game is more like another installment for the Dead Trigger series. The controls are well optimized and the gameplay is very well done. What to say it's mad finger, these guys are born to make games for touch displays. At number 4, we have the Suicide Squad. In spite of all the critics that the movie got, the game is doing pretty well. It's a part of the marketing campaign that these days movies go on to develop games as to gather a higher amount of audience. Unlike the games of this sort, Suicide Squad Special Ops is actually a well-designed and surprisingly engaging game. As of now, we have only three characters, Deadshot, El Diablo and Harlequin. The game has pretty much no end. There are no checkpoints to save the game progression. It's more like you can play the game as much as you can survive. The best part is that you can choose the characters in any order you want. And as of one of the character dies, the other character will take over. At number 3, we have the Asphalt Extreme. It turns out to be the latest entry to Android racing games. Fans of mobile racing has many good options like the Need for Speed No Limits, Asphalt 8 and of course Real Racing 3. But believe me, this is the most insanely high graphics Android game that I'd ever played. The tracks are very well designed and the feel is almost realistic. Usually the other races turns out to be the biggest rivals for you in the race. But here, the track turns out to be the most cautious one. Falling rocks, big boulder or on abyss in the racing track are some of the elements that would keep testing you again and again. The gameplay is very similar to that of the Asphalt 8. You can either use a drag option or take control of the tilt option. And yes, you can accelerate manually or let the AI do it for you. We definitely must appreciate GameLow for giving such a refreshing addition to a genre that hasn't seen any difference in years. At number 2, we have a game from the creators of Walking Dead series, The Wolf Among Us. The graphics is definitely a top notch. The best thing about the Telltale developers are that they know to blend in storyline with gameplay. The storyline is very much true to its source material that is a Fable comics. Don't get bothered about the controls in the very beginning. You'll get used to it as you keep playing. The gameplay is really an experience. The game is sad, tense and dark and can also be magical. The game is a visual treat and it's definitely one of the best games in the market right now. At number 1 is definitely the Modern Combat 5 Blackout. This series has always been on the top 10 games in Android. Definitely Gameloaf has hit the spot by taking the pride on developing one of the finest games on mobile platform. The game is well optimized to provide the most realistic experience in first person shooter game. The development crew has taken many components from the same engine that they used to develop the Asphalt 8. The series has gone way ahead with a better storyline. And hey, there is a lot of lens flash used in the game, which gives a pretty awesome feel while you play. As the piracy has increased, Gameloaf has made a decision to go completely online. Hey wait, the video is not yet over, I have a bonus game for you. The Shadowgun is a worth mentioning game. It's pretty old and nowadays people have lost their engagement in this game. So I thought it's time for us to bring the hype back. Believe me or not, this is one of the most well designed multiplayer game with very less bug or crash errors. It's a third person shooter with beautiful graphics and gameplay that's actually worth playing. This game came around in 2011 and is still one of the best looking Android games. Either way, thanks for watching. Your Stoolie Droid Sector, our Stoolie This Life.